Set the board on one end. Hopefully your most solid end. And because it's hard to set in a joist hanger. The other thing is, set one edge of the joist basically right on the mark that you want it to be on. I'll show you. So, it's really hard to see because there's no mark there, but it's going to go right there. So when I roll that joist up, it uh, should be right on the mark. With any luck. So, let's see if that works. Pick it up, set it on top of the ladder. And you put yourself up. Put it on the shoulder. Roll it up. Make sure you place your ladder as far away from your work as possible. That way it's more difficult to reach the actual joist hanger. Because this is the first joist um, on this post, I want to make sure everything's plumb before I tack it in up here, because that's where my adjustment is. Perfect, of course. This wall can come in a little bit. Uh, the only problem with working alone is that it's hard to pull a wall back and tack it in at the same time. So I think I may release this brace and just try and pull it back a little bit and guess. The other thing you want to do is make sure you don't check your nails before you go up the ladder so that when you get up there, you go to put that first nail and you find out you're out. And then you have to stop, climb back down the ladder, the only reason I'm saying this stuff is because I have done this a hundred times so far. And I'm only now starting to remember. Make sure you have nails. Oh, good idea. Now, I also put my tool belt on and have nails in it so that I don't have to walk over to the nail bucket. Amazing why people wear tool belts. Who would have thought? There. Completely forgot to pull the wall back in a little bit while I uh, while I did that. Awesome. Can't see anything with all the sweat in my face. Whew. Now I have sweat and sawdust in my eyes. Awesome. All right. So hopefully that one will hold the whole thing a little more rigid while I'm banging this thing. Jeez, it's almost like we know what we're doing here. 